Like I always say, there are thousands and thousands of sellers coming onto the Amazon FBA platform each and every day. Well, there are also thousands and thousands of sellers failing and quitting Amazon FBA each and every day. Now this is for a ton of different reasons, but I'm gonna break down three big mistakes that new Amazon FBA sellers make and why that is keeping them from hitting their first 10K in sales, which like I always say is the first milestone that every Amazon FBA seller is striving for. 10K in sales over the course of a year, you're a six figure seller. Now you're gonna to wanna to stay until the end of the video so you know all of the mistakes to avoid. And also the third mistake that people make is probably the biggest mistake that is leading to so many people not reaching their goals as far as Amazon FBA goes. As always, make sure to hit the like button so that I know you guys are enjoying this kind of content and you guys want me to keep making them. Also, let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. Just comment them down below so that I can hopefully get some new video topic ideas. There's only so many ideas I have, so if you guys have anything you specifically wanna see, then just comment them down below and then I'll make a video about them. So the first mistake that new Amazon FBA sellers make is that they do not know their numbers. This is one of the key components in any business, not just Amazon FBA. You need to know your numbers. You need to know your profits. You need to know your losses. You need to know your return rates. And you need to know all of that. You need to know your business inside and out because that is what it is. It is a business. So you need to treat it like that. If this is a hobby, then you're only gonna get so far. You can still make some money, but if you wanna build a legitimate business and you wanna replace your whole income that you currently have, then you're gonna need to treat it like a business and grow it the proper way. If you're just here to make a dollar here and there, then that's all you'll ever make is a dollar here in there so put in the time put in the work to know your business inside and out now a more extreme example of people not knowing their business is new sellers coming onto the platform and not realizing that there are Amazon FBA fees like referral fees and fulfillment fees. Now this is an extreme case and I would like to say that it doesn't happen, but sadly it does. With all of the information on YouTube about fees and about how Amazon works and about the basics, the very basics of Amazon, there should be no excuse why you don't know about these key components as far as referral fees and fulfillment fees that's going to eat away at your profits make sure that you know your numbers inside and out and also make sure that you know the fees now if you want some more information as far as reports go about your business then you can find all that information within seller central and as far as profit losses and return rates go you can also use inventory labs it's a great tool to keep track of all of that without you really having to do very much now mistake number two that new sellers make is that they do not reinvest their profits they start taking money out of the business right off the bat and i think this is a big mistake you need to reinvest into your business so all the profits that you make i would say just keep reinvesting them as long as you can right if you need to pull some money out then obviously pull some money out but if you have the ability to just keep reinvesting then i highly highly suggest that you do so so you can grow your business it also depends on how much you're starting with but i'm assuming the majority of people are starting with a lower amount of capital so if you're starting with the lower amount of capital don't you want to grow that at the fastest rate possible and to do that you're going to need to keep reinvesting your profits each and every month because if you're constantly taking money out of the business your business literally has nothing to grow off of it literally has nowhere to go because the capital isn't there. So assuming that you have replenishable products that you're gonna be having access to each and every month, your business will only grow as far as how many units of those replenishables you can buy. So I can't stress this enough, reinvest as long as you can or until you're comfortable with the size of your business, until you hit six figures or multiple six figures or seven figure Amazon business, whatever the case may be. You know, maybe you just wanna hit you know 50,000 then you're gonna start taking some money out, whatever it is. but try to reach that goal, try to reinvest as long as possible to grow at a faster rate. Now, mistake number three that new sellers make is false expectations. This is the absolute killer of dreams on Amazon or any business for that matter. Anyone who thinks they're gonna come into the wholesale business model and get rich overnight or contact 10 suppliers and find tons and tons of profitable products is sadly mistaken. And this is the case with any Amazon FBA model private label, retail arbitrage, or any business in general. If you are coming in here and you think that you're not gonna have to put in the work, you think that you're just going to have it all easy, any supplier that you contact is gonna be profitable, that's just not the case. That's it. Business is not that easy. Creating an online income isn't that easy. If you're trying to get rich overnight, there's only one place that you can do that. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Be connected. But this is what a lot of people think. They think it's very easy. They think there's no effort. 
Wholesale is very, very simple. Of all the business models, I think this is the most simple. You buy things for less and you sell them for more. But simplicity doesn't mean easy and it doesn't mean that you don't have to put in the time and you don't have to put in the effort. Is it impossible? Is it difficult? Is it super hard? I wouldn't say it's a very difficult business. I just think it takes time to really grow. I think it takes time to find the suppliers and I think it takes time to find those good products that everybody's looking for. But it's very, very simple just takes time. But I think this is an absolute dream killer in any business when everybody comes in with, you know, bright eyed and bushy tailed, thinking that they're going to just make it overnight, thinking that they're just going to sign up for a seller central account, and then money's going to be pouring out of the heavens. It's not like that. And no business that you go into is like that. Then just put the time in, just put the effort in, and it's going to pay off in the end. Understanding these mistakes so that you can avoid them as well is going to set you on the right path to hitting that first milestone, which is the 10k that everybody's looking for. Just be mindful that these are problems that a lot of new sellers face so that you can avoid them. Just come in with the proper mindset. I'm not saying don't be eager. I'm not saying don't be motivated. Just be realistic. Just know that the process is going to take some time. Just know it's going to be some work. But not to say that you guys can't handle it, not to say that you guys won't make it a success. I know you guys will. So now that you guys understand all of the mistakes that these new Amazon FBA sellers are making, you're going to want to watch the video on the screen where I break down the wholesale business model step by step so you guys can follow along. I'll see you in the next video.